Hi, and welcome to Tiger Art. I hope you enjoyed the video about Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh is one of the most famous and well-known artists throughout history. His paintings are inspiring to millions and millions of people. When we look at a Van Gogh, we always know that we're looking at a Van Gogh because we can see some, some certain features. We can see kind of lines in his paintings. And those lines oftentimes will be swirling around. His most famous painting, Starry Night, is full of swirling lines. We also notice some of his colors that he chooses. We're going to be focusing a lot on his trees for today. So previously, we have painted a tree in fall. Now, I find that it's helpful as an artist to revisit certain projects, especially when you're talking about nature. You want to revisit it in a different season or a different version. So learning how to paint a fall tree may be different from learning how to paint like a, an almond tree or a cherry blossom in the springtime. Uh, learning how to paint a winter scene is very different from learning how to paint a scene in the summer. You're using different colors. You're making completely different uh, scenery. You know, everything changes from winter to summer. Nearly nothing about it is the same. So it's important to paint things in different seasons, especially when we're talking about nature. So we're going to be working on a tree and we're going to be looking at Van Gogh's trees. So look at this example of a Van Gogh tree. We notice that it has some of those same characteristics of a Van Gogh painting, like Starry Night. It has the swirling lines, so we're really going to be emphasizing that swirliness of these. We can get creative and really, you know, have fun with that part of this painting, that part of this tree project. Um, look at this picture. This is where we're really going to be focused because it uses some of the colors and uh, shapes that we want to use. It's a painting of an almond tree by Vincent van Gogh. Very famous painting, very beautiful painting. So here is where we'll be focusing our attention. Let's get started. All right, so for today's project, you're going to need a piece of paper. Um, good, good papers to use here are things that are thicker so they can accept paint. Uh, construction paper would work just fine if you have a piece of blue. Uh, light blue or dark blue would be just fine. If you don't have a blue piece of paper, you could use regular white paper. I gave you an assortment of colors in your uh, art kit that you can use for this. So you'll also be needing your watercolor set. So I gave you a watercolor set with a brush inside and you know you can get a cup of water get something to go down on the table to protect the table from getting paint on it. Get your sleeves up and out of the way if you got an old shirt to put on. Something to cover yourself up with so that you don't get paint on good clothes. Get to a place where it's safe to paint. Then we can go ahead and do this. So you could choose to put your picture going side to side or up and down. For this one it really does not matter. So we're going to get our brush wet and we're going to go into the brown paint and we're gonna be painting a Van Gogh tree. So let's go through it step by step and just get an idea for how this is gonna go. We'll start similar to the way we started before by kind of finding the center and doing a basic tree trunk, like two lines that come up from the ground and then they go out like that. As you are painting here, just remember what a Van Gogh looks like. It's got lots of swirly lines. So you may have these lines kind of coming down like this and swirling around. You can really exaggerate that. So coming up here, instead of doing what we did before and making the branches, I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna make something that is wavy back and forth. Tree branches, as we learned before, are wide here and then they get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until they're just a little tiny line. Paintbrush and watercolor paint is great for that. So I'm going to do another one starting out of there and I'm going to go kind of this way with it. So I can always thicken this part of the branch if it doesn't look thick enough down there.
So there's no right or wrong way to do this. Um, you know, I'm just doing my approximation of a Van Gogh tree uh, or a Van Gogh looking tree. Yours could be different and that's fine. Once you got the basic tree branches, then you can go off and do some smaller ones. So here, if you got a smaller brush, I would use it. Um, or you could use this brush, just be careful to use only like the tip of the brush because these pieces of the tree are going to be quite small. But you know, they split off like that first. You don't need to make as many as before. So once you have all that done, then um, you're pretty much done. If you want, I would suggest may make it a little bit cooler looking to add some little green lines down here. Keep in mind it is a Van Gogh, so they should be short little lines that have a curve to them or a swirl to them. Just like that, a little bit. You don't need to go overboard with it, just enough to frame the scene. All right, have fun painting these really awesome trees. Do not throw this picture away. We're not done with it yet. We got a whole nother step to do. So uh, don't get rid of it just yet.